Hello, good morning everyone. Hope you're enjoying your 30 days wild. Today I bring you to Chaffer Gorges Nature Park in Furrock and uh, I am Dean, I'm the ranger here. So today we're in the San Martin Meadow, it's a bit noisy because um, Chaffer 100 is one third up of this nature reserve so we've got lots of roads around us. But this meadow is one of the most biodiverse per metre squared and some of the things we do to monitor the diversity is take key indicator species which we uh, monitor qualitatively and quantitatively so qualitatively is uh, like a DAFOR scale dominant abundant frequent occasional and rare and quantitatively is our count so we've got some key species that are rare and they sort of tell us whether our management is uh, effective or not uh, so basically what I was going to show you today is some of the orchid displays so in this meadow we've had a 400 percent increase in Pyramida orchids over the past uh, four years. So, just to show you the density of them, here is some just down here. Get down low, I hope you can see this. So, these orchids are a bit early this year, I think they're taking advantage of all the rain. They're normally early July, so they, as you can see on some of the smaller ones, They open from the bottom up and some of these can live for decades and only come up when the conditions are right. Uh, we've got some other plants that we want to hear, so we've got some uh, yellow rattle which has gone over to seed now. That's a hemiparasitic plant, had some agrimony in the background, there's a couple of kidney vetch and scabious and trefoils around me as well. Let me try and find those scabia. Uh, and you can see, as we've got this fanit sand cliff here, so we've got calcareous grasslands here at Trafford. So just below my feet is chalk, so um, the bottom of this fanit sand and the chalk is a 20 million year gap or so, uh, encompassing the extinction of the dinosaurs. So, an important time in Earth's history, really. I'm just going to carefully face my feet. Here's some more kidney vetch. That's some really important for a small blue butterfly. We've had a couple of vagrants blown over from Kent, so fingers crossed they'll stay and make a colony here. Uh, here's some scabia. And yeah, I'm not sure if you can see later in the year, I'll probably do a video on some of the hymenopterum in the cliffs. So uh, solitary bees and cuckoo bees who uh, mine into the, into the cliff. Some of them can go up to two meters in, which is quite impressive.